How to Take a Solo Train Journey Train travel is a cost-effective alternative to flying and provides the unique opportunity to soak up lots of scenery along the way. It is considered to be a very safe way to travel, but it does come with its own share of risks that solo travelers should be aware of. By keeping a few safety issues in mind and preparing properly before you leave, you can protect yourself and stay comfortable on your solo train journey. Method 1 Packing for Your Trip 1. Pack light and take a carry-on. Avoid bringing several large, heavy bags with you when you're traveling solo. Hauling them around can be exhausting and may slow you down. You want to remain as mobile as possible and be able to move quickly whenever necessary. Bring a moderately sized carry on bag that is easy for you to move with. Bringing lots of luggage could also make you a possible target for theft. If your train journey is for a full day or longer, bringing a carry on allows you to access your things quickly and keep everything in one place. Since the single occupancy rooms on trains are usually very small, so you won't have room for tons of luggage or possessions anyway. 2. Bring hard copies of your itinerary and important phone numbers. Keep this information on you at all times. Being able to reference your itinerary quickly and easily can be very helpful when traveling alone. Include the phone numbers of any hotels you might stay in, the name and contact information for anyone you plan to meet and an emergency contact for yourself. If applicable, include the phone number to the nearest U.S. Embassy or your native country's embassy. Give someone you trust a copy of your itinerary before you leave, just in case. 3. Avoid stashing all of your money in one place. Try to keep some cash and a credit card on your person at all times. Put the rest in your carry, on, backpack or purse. If anything happens to one or the other in the middle of your journey, you won't be left penniless. Consider using empty vitamin bottles to store rolled up cash in, as well. Throw a few old, loose pills into the bottles with the cash, so that they rattle when shaken. Stash these in your backpack or carry, on. No one will be interested in stealing bottles of your vitamins. 4. Consider getting travel insurance. This is especially true if you plan to be carrying valuables on your journey. Most railways offer relatively affordable travel insurance to their passengers, check with the railway you plan to use for insurance options. If you are planning to bring valuables with you, you might want to put them in a small bag that you keep on your person at all times. This way you can avoid stress by always knowing where the valuables are. Method 2 Being Comfortable on the Train 1. Bring plenty of entertainment with you. Bring a few books and your iPod with you on your train journey. Grab a decking of playing cards, as well, there will be plenty of opportunities to mingle with your fellow travelers on the train and a game of cards can help break the ice and get everyone chatting. It's good to keep busy during a long journey, but don't forget to look out of your window and watch the scenery go by. The scenery is one of the perks of train travel. You will no doubt pass through beautiful and interesting landscapes. Don't forget to bring external chargers for your smartphone, iPod and other gadgets. 2. Pack snacks and other supplies in your carry-on. Trains do provide dining options for passengers and these options are usually very affordable. However, the menu will probably be quite limited and not necessarily very healthy, either. Pack some non-perishable snacks like granola bars, crackers, trail mix, peanut butter, dried fruit, nuts and so on. You can keep your energy up, save money and eat more healthily by doing so. Beverages will be available on the train, but these must be purchased. Keep several bottles of waters with you to keep you hydrated. 3. Take plenty of disposable pre-moistened body wipes with you. There is typically one bathroom in each train carriage, which everyone on that particular car has to share. Unless you bought a first-class ticket, you probably won't have access to a shower. Because of these reasons, bringing pre-moistened body wipes can make it much easier for you to freshen up during your journey. For ease of use, look for travel wipes that are sold in resealable packages. Try to buy wipes that are alcohol-free, especially if you have sensitive skin. Method 3 Staying Safe While Traveling 1. Schedule regular check-ins with someone back home. As a precaution, speak to a friend or family member about periodic check-ins during your journey. Since you're traveling solo, it's important to have someone back home aware of where you are and how things are going, just in case something happens. 
you can do this via Skype, email, or any other communication platform you prefer. For example, you could let them know to expect an email from you every two days and a Skype session once per week. Come up with a plan for how they should proceed if you miss one or more scheduled check-ins. 2. Stay alert. Avoid taking heavy sleeping pills or anti-anxiety medication when you're traveling alone. Unfortunately, you can be robbed, or worse, if you make yourself vulnerable in this way. If you find yourself unable to sleep or feeling stressed out, try to do some simple deep breathing exercises to calm down. Inhale slowly through your nose as you count to five. Then exhale slowly through your mouth as you count to five. Take the medication if you absolutely need it, but take the smallest effective dose that you can. Make sure none of the other passengers see you taking this kind of medication, just to be safe. Many trains offer alcoholic beverages, but it's unwise and unsafe to get intoxicated on a train by yourself. 3. Think twice about accepting food or drinks from strangers. Unfortunately, drugging is always possibility and traveling solo puts you at slightly higher risk. For your own safety, always evaluate everything that you're offered. Look closely for evidence of food tampering and discreetly smell beverages for unusual odors. Trust your gut, if something feels off about a situation, smile and politely decline the food or beverage being offered to you. It's better to err on the side of caution and you definitely don't want to wake up with all of your belongings missing. You'll probably be sharing meals with the other passengers in a common area of the car, so drugging is not outside the realm of possibility. 4. Have a backup plan. Scan a copy of your passport, ID, and any other important documents before you leave. Email these scans to yourself or upload the documents to a locked site like Dropbox, which you can easily access from any computer. If anything is stolen from you or if anything else happens on your journey, you will still be able to access these important items.